My call back here on BTN Live. We're joined now on the phone with Mitch Leidner, the quarterback of the Minnesota Gophers. And Mitch, I understand it's in the mid 80s up there in Minnesota. Oh, yeah, it's, it's so hot. I can't even take it. <laughs> All right, let's get to the news that broke a handful of days ago. Philip Nelson uh, transferring away from the program. What was your reaction when you found out? Uh, I was pretty shocked at first. Um, I really didn't see it coming, so it was just news to all of us. What have the coaches said to you about next year? You know, they just want me to step up, uh, become more of a leader, uh, really take this team by the reins, and uh, really uh, push the guys throughout these, this off season and into the season next year. What was it like the last few games of the year where you weren't starting, but you were taking the most snaps? Um, you know, it's kind of a unique, unique situation. Uh, you know, sometimes it was tough not being out there. But, I mean, at the same time, I was getting mental reps and learning when Philip was out there. Uh, so it, be it benefited me and helped me learn as a quarterback. What's the challenge of coming off the bench but having to play that much? Um, sometimes, you know, it, it, it takes a couple plays to get loose. And, and you don't really get in your groove all that well when you're, when you're uh, you know, rotating like that. But it really helps you as a player because you, you need to be ready to go at all times. You were aided by running back David Cobb, who really became a star this year. Tell me something I wouldn't know about David. David Cobb, he, he likes to think he's the best athlete on the team. <laughs> uh, he thinks he's the best basketball player on the team, that's for sure. But uh, we all know it's not true. Who is the best? I'd have to say Donovan Jones, our freshman receiver. Then what's with David's arrogance? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I think it's it must be... I don't know. The rest of the teammates just like to give him, give him a hard time about it, but he's really not the best. Tell me something I don't know about you, Mitch. Uh, I don't know. Like, what category? How about sports? What are you good at besides football? Uh, I can play basketball, too. Yeah? I guess, I'm a, I guess I'm pretty good at dunking, you could say. Really? Yeah. What makes you pretty good at dunking? Uh, I, don't know. I have like a 36 inch vert, so you know, I can do a couple sweet tricks. Like what? Uh, 360. You can do a 360 dunk? Yeah. Oh, man. I got to get out to Minneapolis and see that. Uh, when did you first start dunking? Uh, when I was in eighth grade. Now, there's a story when you were in middle school. Tell me how much truth there is to this. That when I think when you were in sixth grade, you weren't a quarterback. The coaches just lined everybody up and said, chuck it. And you threw it the farthest, and that's how you became a QB. Is that right? Yeah, that's, that's correct. And that was like in seventh grade. How far did you throw it? I think like 43 yards, maybe. Can you throw it that far now? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> How far can you throw now? Uh, I threw it uh, 69 yards the other day. 69? Uh, what we were throwing. With a couple of bounces? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, biggest thing you've learned from Jerry Kill thus far? Pretty much just how to be a team player. He's really taught me, you know, how to interact with other players and just really try and get the best out of your teammates at all times and, just learn how to become a great leader. How so? How did you learn that from him? Um, well, he's, you know, he helps me get connections, you know, and, and talk with people about becoming a leader. And, I mean, he's taking the time to, to really uh, teach me. And, I mean, I've read uh, a couple of quarterbacking books. And, I mean, he just, he just uh, you know, does the most for his players. And it really is a good reflection on him. What most needs to get better this offseason for the Gophers? Uh, definitely on offense, and you know we we understand that going into this off season, and guys have already been working really hard, and you know we know we need to put points on the board and really and really uh, dominate the passing game this year. Specifically, how can that get better? Just uh, continuing to to work on uh, you know timing with the receivers and everyone showing up to captains' practices and really working working hard all year getting bigger and stronger before we let you go there's a terrible nasty rumor going around that you cut your hair and got rid of your facial hair tell me that's not true uh yeah unfortunately it's true why on earth would you do that uh, uh i don't know i it just was i just had to get all cleaned up you know for the business cut because i'm all business going into the soft season i'm sure that's technically smart but just in general never get rid of the facial hair that's a mistake mitch yeah i know it was looking good too I bet it was. Mitch Leidner, quarterback of the Gophers. Thanks for the time. Enjoy the cold, man. Yeah, will do. Thank you.